Hey everyone, this is Warbird Frank. Welcome to another episode of War Thunder. Today I am driving... Well... This is a, uh, unusual replay. Oh, well, unusual recording for me. Anyway, I'm recording this from a replay because the game was epic beyond belief. So, um, I'm in my T3485 and I demolish. So, I'm gonna do very little commentary but and let you guys enjoy the video enjoy alright so I'm moving up right here sorry about the graphics by the way I'm just advancing up you know trying to flank around so I move up you know I'm fine um, nothing necessarily happens at this point You know, let's hide these. Alright, I did not know there was a tiger there at the time, so I'm just like, oh, okay. So I just advance forward. Me and this guy don't see each other. Apparently, so I just roll up by him. This is weird. So I'm just rolling up, you know. Alright, here's where I'm about to get, uh, find my first victim. So I just park myself right here. I just sit behind here. Hmm. Alright, well, turn the turret around. Not seeing anything in particular in this round, so. Finally, I see the tiger, and I one shot this one. Oh, no. Yeah, I did one shot that one. That's kill number one on that kill feed. I injured this guy. This this one actually took me a while. <laughs> took me a while. So I'm exchanging. Well, I'm not exchanging shots. I'm actually um, trying to take this guy. I took out his turret ring. So I took out in the second blow. Loading the sh again. I bounced this one for sure. I was hesitant because of the the way he was angled. So uh, keep an eye on the kill feed, by the way, if you want you know to see what what I did. This is 16 kills. I ended up getting 16 kills, guys. Jesus Christ! All right. So as soon as he backs up in the corner, I you know I back off and I just look around for a little bit, as you can see right now. Um, I didn't see that Hetzer. But I did see these two um, anti, these three anti-air. I kill one. Load and high explosive. It's kill number three. Oh, what had happened was I I loaded in high explosive and killed two of them at the same time. <laughs> do, 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 double kill. Um, yeah, those were three anti-air, so I loaded in high explosive. I, at the time, I didn't know because it said I had two kills. I didn't know that I killed two people. So over here, I loaded in um, another round of uh, armor piercing. So that's I have four. I'm on four kills in this round. All right. So I'm just sitting here looking around. Then I. You know, I'm just looking around. Blah blah blah. All right. 
I don't know what I see here, but you know, I I decide to advance forward. Oh, that's right. Um, the tiger, the tiger reemerges right here, the one I was shooting at earlier. Oh, uh, I bounced that one. But yeah, that was epic. At the time, I didn't know two kill feed popped up, and uh, I didn't know I killed two triple A at the same time with the high explosive. So I was just sitting here like, oh, okay. Right into here, I'm, I, you know, this tiger doesn't see me, so I'm just waiting for a side shot, but I wait for him to advance up, I call artillery on him, and there you go, there's the artillery splash. Alright, this is where I put in a blow, don't kill him, so I back up, get to cover, pop up again, and this is where I think I should finish him, yep, that's kill number five. If you look at the, if you guys are paying attention to the kill feed, so I noticed the Panzer 470 to my left um, last second, but I wasn't really paying attention at the time, so I'm still looking at the uh, to the right. But then the Panzer 470 that would it pops up. This is where I see him. And I'm like, okay, he doesn't see me, and I, and I don't see him right now. So I'm I'm just chilling and you know I'm looking around. It's not until the last minute I see this Panzer 470 to my left, and yeah, that's where I go back around and you know, oh crap, there's a Panzer 470 there. All right, so I head over this way, try to pop up on a, um, you know, say like, well, anyway. All right, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the gameplay. So I go ahead and advance forward towards the Panzer 470. I pop up. He's not pointing at me, and I hit him right in the driver's hatch and kill him. That's kill number six. Sorry, camera angle. All right, so I'm backing up. and decided to advance forward. Du -du double kill. The T-3045 is a, a really handsome tank, tell you that, aerodynamic. Not a lot of armor though. Alright, it's so I, it's here that I see the Ots win. Well, I don't think I see the Ots win here, so I'm just like still scanning around for enemy tanks. <laughs> Advance forward, head to my right. All right, it's here where I see the Werbel wind, the Ots wind, to my left. So, jump over. Yep, I see him right here. I don't have the shot, so I just decided to advance forward. So I wait for him for a split second, but he's not, you know, he's too far advanced. He, he advanced too far, so I decided to give pursuit. And this is where I just fuck up his turret right here, or one shot him right here. I screw up his engine on that one. Blow off this turret. That's kill number seven. <laughs> so I advance forward because we're being capped. I know of a tiger that's over here, so I'm on kill number seven. And this game was a really good game, though, so this is why I'm going over the replay. I hope you don't mind. Um, this, this is a 16-kill game. So I advance forward. And then I see a tie. I believe this is where I see the tiger in front of me. I don't remember yet. I see the tiger in front of me. Take out his engine. Well, his turret, actually.
one shot him. Well, not kind of one shot him on that one. Use my mobility, get around the tank. And one shot him. Kill number eight. That's kill number eight. I almost shit myself, not gonna lie. The double kill. Alright, so I had I decided to head over here. You know, I camped this little corner right here, because at this time I'm thinking, you know, we gotta play defensive here. So I just wait in the corner right here. Camp it, you know, looking both ways. Now it's gonna be to the right where a, a whirlwind decides to a wild whirlwind pops up, and this is where I take out his engine, well his turret actually. I don't remember the specific details. This is gonna be kill number nine, I believe. I'm positive this is gonna be kill number nine, and take out his engine right here all right and then finish him off and boom he's dead what oh wait, I ram I ram kill him lol all right so that's kill number nine. So over here to my left, where where I'm you know where I'm pointing over here, I'm reversing the tank and put, getting into position. Now there's going to be two Panzer IVs, one white one and a Panzer IV H. So as soon as I turn to the left, I panic. I see him. Aim. He sees me. I mess up everything in his tank. So I advance forwards because I feel safe. The guy uh, moves forward, tries to get behind the building. He succeeds for a short time. I hit everything else in that side shot. Then I see the Panzer IV H. He sees me. I see him. I one shot him, I believe. Nope. I actually messed up everything on that tank, though. So I'm taking on two tanks at the moment. He bounces that one. Alright, he's dead. That's kill number... Number 10. And this guy, you know... I, I angled my armor a little bit. Damage him again. And this is going to be kill number 11. Yep, I'm on kill number 11. Now it's at this point where there's two Panzer IVs on the cap, but I did not see the Panzer IV 70, so. He is, obl I am oblivious to his existence at this time. So, I advance forward, try to go back to reset the cap. I'm advancing forward. Now, it's at this time where, you know, re remember that Panzer 470, I did not see him until last minute. He will kill me two times. So, I move over here. One shot the first one. Alright, that's kill number... 12. The other one, and this is going to kill be kill number 13. Alright, keep in mind, I don't see the Panzer 470, so... He sees me, he shoots me, I'm dead. I have commander rooted horizontal move. Okay, so this is where I die. And I'm dead. Well, yeah, there you go. Alright, so I'm gonna spawn in into a. into a. Um, let's give it a sec. I'm gonna spawn it. Yep, there you go. I know, keep in mind, I will. I think. Uh, I will die on this one, so. This was a pretty quick thing, so I had a lot of respawn points, so keep that in mind. So the Panzer, 
I think I killed him on this one. I don't remember specifically. So I think he sees me. I fired off the high explosive round, so. I think this is gonna be kill number. Yeah, this is where he killed me. Yeah, I, I die on this one. Well, no, I don't die on this one. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't remember. So let's see and watch. I don't remember. Actually, I just shut up for this part. I do know I'm repairing for this. Oh, that's right. Uh, the guy saved my ass a little bit there. So at this point, the turret's re repaired. Advance forward, and this is going to be kill number 14, I think. Alright, so I sit here and cap the corner because there's a stug there that I know of. Yeah, he's coming right there. Alright, uh, he sees me. I bounce the first time. Alright, I kill his driver and his gunner. I remember this specifically. Get on his side. And basically, this is his demise. And that's kill number 14. Alright, so I load high explosive for this. Oh, well, I. I hit him with the armor piercing anyway, so. Alright, I took out his horizontal, so. He can't really do anything. So I decided to shoot him and shit like that. Load him uh, high explosive. That's kill number 15. Now it's at this point where I decide to cap. So that's going to be boring. I will die at this, uh, trying to save this uh, SU-152, so let's skip ahead. So, it's at this time, you know, SU-152 is gonna is screaming for help because there's a Panzer 3 M that, yeah, this is where I decided to come back because he's screaming for help, and I'm like, okay. So there's a Panzer 3 M, but notice how this guy's smart. He ignores the Panzer. He ignores the the tank destroyer in front of him and goes for me instead and one shots me. So I'm dead at this point. It's at this point where I put my final blow into the glorious KV2 comrade. Yes, duh. Now it's at this point where the game's practically over. So, um, 
I decide to move up. I don't know exactly where he is. But I do know this. Um, this is going to be the last kill, the 16th kill in the game. I was joined by my friend Ken, and he died at the very, very beginning. Killed a Tiger 1 with his SU-122, not the not the high tier ones, the low tier one, the uh, howitzer version. I mean, if you see this thing pointing at you, yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> Alright, so I decided to advance forward. I'm really hoping you enjoyed this tank gameplay. This is actually one of my epic one of my epic tank gameplays that I've posted. Well, this is gonna be the third one. The first one was the Sherman, the third the second one was the Germans, and then the the this one right here is gonna be the for the Russians. He panics, he freaks out like shite, shite, shite. And that's kill number sixteen, ladies and gentlemen. It is at this point where the game is practically over. We won this out of sheer, sheer brute, brute strength. And this is the 16 kill game for my Russians. Now this, this was an RB by the way. So this, is, this one was in realistic battle. This was an epic game beyond belief. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um... Hopefully my commentary didn't ruin the game. I really, really hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe to become a Warbird today. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of War Thunder. Warbird out.